Hi, my name is Chef Andy, and we are making the crostata di marmalata, also known as the raspberry tart cake in, in English. My nonna, she used to make this for me when I was a little boy. It's one of my favorite all around desserts. I don't know a single person who just doesn't like this thing. It is incredible. If you want more incredible recipes, make sure one to subscribe to our food movement and turn on those post notifications so you can get updated when we come out with those beautiful recipes. Anyways, let's just get started with this thing. Okay, so you're gonna wanna get a nice beautiful bowl like so, okay? Then we're gonna use two cups and a fourth of all purpose flour. We're just gonna throw this right in our nice bowl, okay? I already measured out everything, you know, because we're here on the cooking show. We gotta do things quick. Then you're gonna wanna use a half a cup of sugar, just your white sugar. We're gonna sprinkle that right in with our flour. Next, we're gonna add our salt. You're just gonna get a half a teaspoon of regular salt. Now remember, we're baking, and when you're baking, you wanna do things precise, so make sure that you follow this recipe Super precise. Okay, we're gonna mix this all inside, mix it around, make sure it's all there. Boom, perfect. Put that to the side. Now I'm gonna take 6.75 ounces of butter and I'm gonna cut up this butter because we're gonna mix it in the flour and it's just gonna make it easier to make, easier to smush up in our flour. So we're just gonna cut it up into small little pieces. Now this is gonna be the base of our torta. This is gonna be, I guess, our dough or our pasta in Italian. If you're new to the channel, we make episodes every single day. So one, welcome, and I hope you enjoy this and watch many, many more videos. Also, I'm curious, how do you guys like these episodes so far? Are you loving the cooking show? Are you making these recipes? How's it going, people? Talk to me, leave some, leave some messages in the comment section. I actually read all the comments. I may not respond to every single one, because I'm probably filming, but <laughs> um, I definitely try to read every single comment. So if you want me to get a message or whatever, just leave it in the comment section. I'd love to hear from you. That looks pretty chopped up to me. Take our butter, put it into our bowl. Now I'm gonna take my little smasher thing. This is like, a lot of people use this for like mashed potatoes and stuff. And we're just gonna massage this, smash this in. And we want it to be like a crummy texture. Really just work this in like you love it, people. Massage it in. It's looking nice and crummy. Look at this here, come take a look. Come take a look, look at the texture. Look at that beauty. Wow, this kind of looks like Parmesan cheese actually, but the opposite. <laughs> okay, cool, so that's great. Now we're gonna head over here and we're gonna take some of our farm fresh eggs. These are fresh eggs from our farm here in Seattle. Look how beautiful these look. Look at the, look at the colors on the shells. We got green ones, we got brown ones. We got all sorts of colors. So we're gonna take a brown and a green. There's no difference in taste, they're just, they look cool in color. Okay, I'm gonna crack this guy, and we just want the yellow oaks. We want those beautiful oaks, okay? So one and two, beautiful, okay? Now I'm gonna take a third a cup of cream, pour that in there, and now I'm gonna take a teaspoon of some vanilla extract. Boom, cool. Now we are gonna just take a fork and we're just gonna mix this up. Beautiful, look at that, that is just amazing. Now I'm gonna leave a third of this for later on. I'll show you guys what I'm gonna use for it later on. Now I'm gonna take my hands, I'm just gonna get in here and just work this in. Woo, come on. This is beautiful. Just gotta get dirty, you know? So just squish it, mix it all in nicely. Get all the flour off, everything on the edges of this bowl. Just get it nice and off, okay, cool. Then it's gonna look like this beauty right here. Okay, so I'm gonna roll this up in a ball. And now I'm gonna cut off a fourth. Okay, so take the center. There's the center. That's about a fourth right there. Cut that off and I'm gonna put this in a plastic bag and throw it in the refrigerator because I don't want this dough to get too warm or it's gonna kinda melt. So we'll put this in here. Beautiful, so we have this nice little dough ball, okay? So now, I love this little torta cooker thing. I don't know what you call it, but anyways, it's really nice to cook this because um, one, not only does it make the perfect shape, but two, it's really easy to take out the torta once you're done with it. Okay, so we're gonna take our torta tray and we are gonna just 
pop this dough in the center and just start working it to the edge and spreading it evenly. We wanna get a nice even layer all the way across this. Just keep working that dough all the way around. We wanna get a nice flat surface on the bottom portion and on the sides. We don't wanna to go too thin or else, you know, when you pull it apart, it's just gonna fall apart. We want it to be able to hold itself. Just kinda of work it, push it out, bring your thumbs in there. Really work those edges. We're almost done, but then the very top, if the edges are curling over, you just take your thumb and just pull it over like that and then save this and we'll put it in other spots. This is so therapeutic, you know, and that's one of the, the amazing things about cooking is that, you know, there could be a lot of things going on in your life, but, you know, cooking can kind of distract you and, you know, take your mind off things. So that's, you know, another reason to get out there, start cooking. So I don't have as much dough over here, so I'm gonna take my leftover stuff and I'm just gonna put that back in. Make this flat, just take your hand, just put even pressure in the center. All right, beautiful. It's looking really nice and even. I'm happy with this. Now's the fun part. So we're gonna take our marmalata or our jelly. And we're, this is a raspberry jelly. And what's cool about this recipe is that you can make literally anything, peach, raspberry, blackberry, blueberry, whatever berries you wanna use. I just love raspberry. I think it just pops. It tastes so good. And the color looks amazing. So I'm just gonna take my, my hands are pretty oily. Ooh, come on. Get that off, take a nice spoon, break it up a little bit. Now we're gonna use 16 ounces, this is a 13 ounce jam or jelly, whatever you wanna call it. Okay, so we have 13 ounces in here, we gotta get another, we gotta get 17. Woo, come on, beautiful. Now it's gonna look like there's not a ton of jam or it's not filled up all the way, but that when it cooks, it's gonna rise up. So now remember that dough that we were saving in the refrigerator? Well, we're gonna pull this out, slide this guy over, and we're gonna start making our strips for the top of our torta. So I'm just gonna take this dough and we're gonna cut it into small pieces. I already smell what this thing's gonna taste like. It's gonna be beautiful. Also at this point, you wanna make sure that your oven is preheated to 400 and then we'll get to that in a second. Okay, so we're gonna take our little strips and we're just gonna roll these out. You don't want them to get too thin or else they'll break. So I'm just gonna place this across. The ends, you just break that off and then save it for any extra strips. And we're just gonna keep doing that, keep repeating. With spring and summer coming up, berries are gonna be super fresh. You could even make your own jam. Ooh, blackberries, that would taste amazing. So take this strip, and now we're gonna go the opposite way. All right, look how beautiful this looks. This is incredible. We got all our stitching across, and I had a little bit of leftover dough, so you know, salute. Okay, now it's time to find your inner artist and do a little painting. So we're gonna take a brush, we're gonna take that leftover heavy whipping cream and vanilla, and we're just gonna paint this on beautifully. Now, what this is gonna do to the dough is it's gonna give it that crusty, crunchy outside. Now, if you spill this in the jam, don't worry, it's not gonna affect the flavor or taste. It might look slightly different, but it, it should just cook right off. All right, I've got my torta all painted, better than Bob Ross could ever do. <laughs> but now, we need to Add some beautiful sugar. Who doesn't love sugar? We're gonna sprinkle this on top. Now what that's gonna do is gonna form this beautiful crust, give it that nice crunchy texture. That's enough. Now that we have our oven at 400, we're gonna place this baby right inside. Whew. And we're gonna let it sit there for 15 minutes. Now after 15 minutes, we're gonna bring it the temperature down to 350 and we're gonna let that sit for another 30. So 15 minutes at 400, 30 minutes at 350 in total cook time. It's gonna be 45 minutes. So I'll see you in 15 minutes. It's been 15 minutes. Let's turn our oven to 350, okay? So we're just gonna turn this little dial. Boom, 350, and now I'll see you in 30 minutes. Our 30 minutes is up. It's been 45 minutes total. Let's pull out our torta. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, this looks incredible. You can just smell that. 
Oh, mamma mia. Wow, this is so incredible. It smells amazing. I don't know how you, you would not like something like this. The sugar is just caramelized right on top, that perfect crustiness, but this thing is super hot. So I'm gonna let this sit for 30 minutes to an hour, and then we're gonna dive right into this thing. So I'll see you in 30. Mamma mia, bella roba. Look at this beautiful crostata di marmalada. Oh my gosh. This is incredible. This is a monumental moment. Before I tear up here, I think we need to bring in my beautiful wife, Melissa. Let's give her a round of applause. Yep, come on down, come on down. Welcome again. Thank Welcome you. to Chef Andy. The people love you out there, oh, Melissa. Oh, thank you guys. Happy to be here. I did a special request to be a tester for this special recipe. <laughs> and we also have Disco. Oh, he's eating out of the trash can because he's trying to eat. <laughs> oh, he loves. Oh, should we give him the first lick? No. Give him a little no. lick. Just a lick. Okay, so we're just gonna cut right into this thing. I'm gonna cut it down the center. Oh, it's like breaking my heart. Wow, wow this is beautiful. I'm so excited. This is incredible. What's also good on this is whipping cream. If We didn't do it this time, but if you wanna learn how to make my beautiful whipping cream, look at my pancake video. It has the whipping cream recipe. Put that right on top. That's also beautiful. Okay. I thought you were gonna say, what's also good is when you subscribe. <laughs> well, that's also good as well. So if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure and do so. Wow. Can we just admire this piece that I just pulled out? Can we get a close-up shot of that? Look at how beautiful. Wow. I'm so excited to finally know how to make this. I've always wanted to know. Well, you don't know yet because you didn't. I haven't watched it yet. You didn't watch it, so. I'll know when this comes out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Should I take the first bite? No. <laughs> <laughs> so rude. Just like our wedding. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> she took the first bite. Okay, we can do it at the same time. Okay, no, 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 you go. It's amazing. It's a life changer. It's so good. I'm gonna need my own piece. Really, it's all about the crust. The crust is everything on this one. Raspberry jam is my favorite favorite on it. Wow, that crust it just pops. As you can tell, we're satisfied. Sorry, right <laughs> yeah, sorry guys, I forgot about you. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that is the crostada, the marmalada. If you have not subscribed to our food movement, make sure to do so and smash the subscribe button. Give the video a huge thumbs up. It helps us, helps you, helps the whole world go around. And don't forget to tag me in your photos, people. I want to see you make this beautiful crostada de marmalada. I just love, I love saying crostada, crostada de marmalada. marmalada. <laughs> so beautiful. Anyways, guys, that is the video. We'll see you next time in the kitchen. Ciao, Ciao belly. belly.